I am, what, a couple minutes early? But, I mean, I was here. I'm here. I might as well go ahead and start. Good morning. Hey, Michelle. Long time no talk, Michelle. I just got done talking to her. Hey, Carrie. Hello, friends. Hello. You know, I probably should leave my phone plugged in. We're going to wait a few minutes. Oh, pardon me. We're going to wait a few minutes um, so some other people can go in before we go over and select our items. Hi, Amelia. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Daniel. Diane. Susical. Oh, I love seeing all you friendly faces. Friendly and familiar faces. So, we're going to try something a little bit different today. Hi, Tiger. Why am I so close? There we go. We're going to try something a little bit different today. Hi, Tammy. Good morning. Hi, Perla. So, we're going to, you know how on Mondays I would open up some friend mail and then we would go over and we would choose things that we were going to sell on Tuesdays. Well, we're going to do something different. And I'm going to see how this goes. I would like to maybe start doing this every Monday. Um, and we're, I'm just going to have another sale. I mean, why not, right? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the shelves. And we're going to pick 15 things. And then we're going to bring them over here to the table. And then we're going to sell them right here, right now, today. The, the thing of it is, if you buy something from me today, I will not invoice it unless you want me to, unless you specifically email me and say, Misty, go ahead and send me the, in, the invoice. I won't be sending invoices out until Thursday. So um, just know that, that, that invoices, because I, I, I want to be able to ship them all together. It's going to save you money. It's going to save me time. However, if you want me to ship it out today, I, I can do that. Um, I do need to make sure that I have all of your email address, your, your emails, your shipping addresses, and I only accept PayPal. Um, we will be selling the things. They will be all offer ups, no just in cases, just all offer ups. If, and I'm going to try, I, this is just, I'm just, it's just me here. You know, it's just me here. I'm, I'm holding the camera. I'm picking the things. I'm carrying the basket. I'm putting it. So it's just me. But. I'm going to, that's the first thing that I have seen, that I'm seeing, like if you, if I see someone type something, I, and if I see it, I'm going to grab it. So don't yell at me if I, oh, you didn't pick what I chose. If, if you see something and I don't pick it, you can email me. You can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. And you can still buy it from me if you would like. I'll just give you a price. And if you agree upon it, then, um, then, then we're good. There will be some things that I won't be selling today. Hi, guys. Yes, Michelle is the bid ender and the tracker. Michelle is, in, Michelle is driving the train today. She's driving the train. Buckle up. Put on your seatbelts. And, and, and enjoy. Um, hi, Pat. Yay, yay, yay. Thank you, Susical. Um, I won't be selling fairy lamps today. I'm not going to be selling like things that I normally sell during a, a live sale. This is mainly going to be, I, I'm going to do like a select area. I may actually go over to the front of the shop to the crazy train. That's right. I, 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 mm -mm. everybody, Dolores, let's self sing it. We're all doing it. Hey, Dolores. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Mm -mm. We're all singing. We all got a little Aussie in our head right now. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Hi, Lolo. And Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Sweet Lynn. Okay. So they're, they're, those are the perimeters. I have to have some perimeters. I do. I have, to ha I have to have some perimeters. Now, while I'm over there, be thinking of things that maybe could work for if you've got a Father's Day gift that you have to um, buy for. You know, 
Also, the friend mail, I will, I am going to still open the friend mail live, but I am going to start doing it live on my Instagram account. Um, I haven't decided what day yet, um, but I will be going live. I am going to start going live a lot more often on Instagram. And I may just, I may sit down in front of my linens one day and say, I'm going to have a linen sale on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, do. If you're not if you're not on Instagram, I highly recommend that you do, especially if you are a reseller. You need to be on on Instagram. It's it's definitely going to going to help. Um but I love Instagram myself. So if you're not on Instagram, it's very easy to create an account. Um and it's fun. So are we ready? We have 130, 130 people watching, and, and, and oh, now we have 128 people watching. Two people left. Oh, now we have 131. We're not going to do these numbers, but you know what? Give me a thumbs up. That really does help. It really, really does. Um, I, a few announcements, though, before we go over and pick the things that are behind me. Well, let me just unplug. Let's turn you around. These are the things that I will be selling on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow, these things will be in the three-way sale. We've got some Fitz and Floyd. We got some elephants, pudas. That is not. I'm. That's just a decoration. Is my little <clears throat> my prune juice bottle. So the glass fruit, the piggies, the wooden cat. These will be sold in tomorrow's sale. These things will be so sell blah, 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 sold in Wednesday's live sale, which is going to be with um the th um with which is gonna be with Marcy, the vintage bulldog. She's a great Instagram seller. So I will be doing a sell with her tomorrow. I've got a monster fairy lamp. I've got a Joe St. Clair um art glass bird paperweight deer baby head a poodle TV lamp a chihuahua this is Norcrest. That's an art glass Norcrest owl. A house hippo. Did you know that house hippos were a thing? I did not know that. But these are house hippo mugs. And I got two of them. And I got two pheasants. And I look at the poodle with glasses and her babies. So these, look at the Tanala fish. Holt Howard mices. So these are the things that are going to be sold tomorrow. All right, let me get my little pop socket out. So let's now go over here to the shelves and we're going to pick 15 things. Yeah, Diana, house hippos are a thing. This is a haul I have to do today from the auction. Don't look at that. I'm going to do that today. All right, so shall we do a thermos? Would y'all like to do a thermos? Could we, should we do a thermos today? I know, Carrie. I thought that too. I have bought those and I, I just took them off my shelf because I'm need I'm trying to get rid of things. I'm trying to get rid of things because I'm gonna we're gonna do some work to our kitchen and I need to downsize. Um and I've pretty much sold most of my Holt Howard collection. So all right. I know, Catherine. I how suppose are a thing. So do we want are are there any interest in thermoses? I've got this pink one, a yellow one, this lime green brown one. I have a big plaid one, a small plaid one, and a red and white striped one. So, I do too, Daniel. I am the house hippo. All right. So, let me know if there's any interest in the thermoses. Um, let's, what, where shall we start? Now, remember, I'm not doing any art glass. I'm not doing any fairy lamps. I'm, I'm just going to say that now. So, all right. And we've got some salt and pepper shakers. We've got lobsters. These are actually made in Germany. The red, the red one, Carrie, which red one? The plaid one or the red and pink? Now, the red and pink one is in really good shape. It's like a maroon. It's more of a maroon. 
So we don't have to do any thermoses today. That's just a suggestion. We're only going to do 15 items, so. Um, really, Evan? I didn't know that. Huh. The creme de menthe. Creme de... Oh, this one? Okay. All right. We'll do this one. Creme de menthe. Mm, am I looking at the right spot? We were over here. Creme de menthe. Where, what am, where am I missing? Creme de menthe. Yeah, we don't have to do the thermoses, but we can. Creme de menthe tin on top. Dinstone. Why am I not seeing this? Shelf above the thermos. Just a. Oh, the green jug. Gosh, what is the name of this guy? Oh, he has a name. I cannot remember. Is the. Oh, is the light minty color. Okay. Now we can do that. I'm, I'm willing to do this. It, but well, I, I mean, I'm we're gonna do him as an offer up. What is his name? He is a um, golly, he's not McCoy. I, I gotta take his price tag off. He's not McCoy. It does look like a bomb. Okay, it is a booby jug. Well, he has a name, it's not. McCoy. It very much feels like McCoy. He does have his cork still in him. All right. So we want to do the lobsters. Okay. I'm seeing lobsters. He's bulbous. He's bulbous. Okay. So let's go over here to figurines. I really am wanting to downsize my figurines. You dropped a bomb on me. Baby, no, he's not Hall either. Now I'm going to be singing that song. All right, so let's see. We've got, I've got a whole box full of babies. Bauer. That's not sounding familiar to me. Um, shipping will be calculated. I'm in Indiana, so it's just going to depend on where you are at and how heavy and how big your box is. I've got a box full of babies. We've got gold-haired babies. And I'm probably just going to sell them all as one. Yeah, little frozen Charlottes. These, I kept some, but I don't, I mean, I do not need an army. So, we can do the frozen Charlottes. The B picture behind the babies. I can do this. It does not have the lid, but we can do that. Okay, frozen Charlottes. Okay, we got one, two, three, one, two, three, four. The frozen Charlottes. Ooh, really? The window? Okay. See, you guys? This is why I like doing these because I like see these things and I've had them forever. Okay, hang on a second. Let me go back. Owls, frozen Charlottes. I was wondering. Oh, where was it at? I was wondering. Oh, I didn't see that. Yes to the babies. Grab that is that hanging over that shelf. Oh, look, little boy. The little boy. He's just sitting there. He is, I think he's made in occupied Japan. He's just waiting. His little baby Jeff Jeff waiting on his Jeff, sit next to his clown Jeff egg. Planters. Okay. No, it's not Hall Pottery. Oh, Chevy mug. Oh, no, it was not there. Sometimes, Shannon, that happens. And I, I mean, it's kind of a, um, we're going to do the make it and bake it. Someone wanted the make it and bake it parrot. Remember these? Remember? Do you remember? Um, 
I'll film a video, and sometimes people will see things, and they'll go in and get it. Cats or any animal art glass. Hummingbird behind the boy. This is a parrot. This is a deer. It's not a no hummingbird. This is a duck swan. I do have a little elephant trio. I know, I know. All right, I also have, let's just take a look. I've got this baby planter here that I love. She's just singing to the heavens next to her stroller. Behind the boy. This is a, I got two parrots. He has a repair that I repaired because I broke him. And then there's his brother. Looks like a glass blocks. Okay, wait a minute. Next to the bottom shelf, far right, looks like a glass box planter. It is hanging off the shelf. Well, I have this. And I have the chain that goes with it. It is a carnival, like a kind of a poly style, um, iridescent glass hanging something. But it does have the, I do have, this attaches to it. I just took it off. See, it has like the three way hanger there. I just took it off so I could wash the, the bulb. Elephants. Okay. Oh, dear. Napkin holder with the shakers. All right. We'll do it. Uh, the... Like so. Cat on a chair. Second shelf in the middle. This is the only bad thing. It's like, okay, cat on a chair. Uh, I don't. The fish platter. Might want, mint joke might be a mohawk. Yeah, I like the booby joke. Doggy with the tongue hanging out. I've got two of them. They would be sold as a set. They're brothers. They're German shepherds. It is like playing Where's Waldo. <laughs> okay, the elephants. All right, the home co elephants. And then let me count. The home co elephantes. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, be careful there, elephant. Oh, thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Michelle. No foxes. No foxes. How about I've got a hillbilly man. I have a hillbilly man. Um, planter. I have some pigs. I'm thinking like Father's Day. I've got the head nut. We've got the head nut. Um, now I have this. Isn't this lovely? Look at this. I want to show you this. Move back, girl. This is a peacock. Peacock. No, I don't have anything Betty Boop. White cat next to the shepherd dogs. This one? The little bank made in Japan? Possibly. Is it this one? Okay. Here's the thing. I saved this peacock. When I bought it, when I bought it, it was broken. Okay? So, I took it home because I thought it was majestic. It has a repair right here. It has a repair right here. So, like, basically, this part right here was off. But I found the pieces. 
I had to buy it. I just thought, oh my gosh. So you can see where I repaired it. Basically, the head was off. And when you repair these, it's good to use, when you use your super glue, to use also use baking soda and put the baking soda over it. It just helps bind it a little bit. But there is a chip still missing right here. But when you turn it over, you can't, I mean, you can't tell that that part was gone. So I I will do it. Um, but, but also, I mean, I know that it's got repairs in it or on it. But I just, I couldn't, I had to save it. It's just so fun. So we'll do it. We will try it. Peacock, you might be able to have time to shine again. You might have time to shine again, baby. Oh, I was standing. Look, my, my belly was going to prevent it from falling. I promise. Oh, yes, you can absolutely still put a plant in it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. The owls next to the weenie dog. Well, Angela, you got you got eagle eyes, girl. Okay, the Home Co. Owl family. See, now I had this put towards the back because I thought nobody's going to want this until fall. Hmm. Well, Angela, Angela's Angela's making me good. Good. I'm glad. You're scared of peacocks. Okay. Did someone answer me about what is the very back to? Uh, Oh, this is an elephant plant or piggy bank. Very mod and fun. Very 1970s. Um, he's got a little bit of wear on his legs, but I can do him if anyone's interested in that guy. Any napco? Oh, I've got napco all over the place. <laughs> you popped right in it, weenie dog. Okay, we need five more. Okay, do the bank. Is that a salty and peppy set on the bottom shelf? Oh, yeah, we could do this. This is from my own collection because I'm thinning it out. It's a salt and peppy. You can hang it on the wall. It's got the salty and peppy. And then it has the little holder. You could put an air plant in here, but it's for toothpicks, actually. All right, so we'll we'll go ahead and pick that. Oh, Michelle, I can't. Not unless everyone says I can. Can I put this aside for Michelle? And we pick something else? Will, will that upset the crowd? I do have treasure craft. I have the San Diego, California Dolphin Salt and Pepper Shakers. Um, I have, I thought I had another piece of treasure craft. Maybe I don't. Okay, go ahead for Michelle. Ah, you guys. I'll set it aside for Michelle. Oh, the creepy bait. Yeah, let's sell this. Creepy baby head. Does anyone want creepy baby head? Okay. I had this on my shelf. Believe it or not, I did. And I'll have you know, I bought a clown book over the weekend. I did. Does anyone want me to put creepy head in the sale? Yeah, where's Tina? So if anybody else wants me to, I will. I also have a little cat trinket. No, but Kelly's saying yes. If you throw in the mouse next to the Occupy Japan kid. Mouse. Oh, yeah, we can do this little mouse. It is an UNESCO. It's Missy Mouse. It's a little toothpick holder. We could do that today. Okay. Well, people are saying no. I don't, I don't want to sell it. Um, it is a clown head. Joanne probably would like that clown head. Um, the black and white dog planter. Michelle, how many more things do we need? Yes, I have a black and white dog planter. 
Um, there is a hairline crack right there, but golly, sometimes I just, I can't, because it, it still has purpose. It's not broken. It has a hairline crack right there, but you could still put, you could still use this and look at that face. Yeah. And again, if you see anything that I'm not pulling, you can send me an email. You can definitely send me an email. <laughs> my butt has a crack, but my mama. Okay, two more if I'm doing the creepy clown head. Okay, we'll do the creepy clown head. Does it wait? Do we want to do the creepy clown head to take place of another item or do we want to do another item? Oh, really? That must have been a week, a week, weak point for them. So I can do him. I do have planters. I have Morton Pottery Deer. I have a pink McCoy car that would be great for Father's Day. Um, I've got a little white turtle. He's got a couple little hairline cracks too. Um, I have a girl sitting on a shoe and a chicken and a booby chicken. She's proud of her big boobies. She has, she's got some issues though, but God, at least this, I can't, I just, I don't know why I buy them, but I do. I just can't help it. I have Numajis. Anybody interested in some big, big Numaji pottery piece, a big Numaji and a baby Numaji. Okay. No to the clown. Booby chicken. The booby chicken has issues though. I will sell booby chicken. It, it has, she's been repaired. On her hat, and she's been glued on the bottom. But she is, look at her with her purse. I have to rescue them all. Someone wanted the, f f oh, someone wanted this. Okay, do we do booby chicken? Booby chicken. She's going to market. I'm, you know what? I'm going to put booby chicken in, and I'm going to put, Someone had asked about this earlier. The fluffy cat dog with the beard. He looks like he has an Amish beard. Yeah. Amish beard. An Amish beard, fluffy. I don't know what animal you are. Fluffy, animal, dog, cat. Okay, Michelle, we did not pick the clown head. Do you know how many we have? No dino Sore planters, although that would be fabulous. Look at this guy. Whee! He's going to market. The clock is for sale, but it does not work. It does not work. Okay, we got one more. One more item. One more. Oh, I have this treasure cra craft. San Diego, California. I think it means he's married. Oh, a book. You know what? If, I, I, I would like to do this every Monday. I also have the drunk people. Any linens? Okay, let's do a book. Let's do a book. Um, I have a Better Homes and Gardens garden book. I have some children's books. I could do a lot of children's books. Like there's Snowbell or Snowball. Barbie and Skipper go camping. Okay, I see garden book. So that's the one I'm going to go with, the garden book. I will be probably be sitting on Instagram and be do I will be doing a book sale. Hi Stephanie. And I will also be doing a linen sale because I have a ridiculous amount of linens. So, oh gosh, I never thought about how I'm going to take this to there. You guys are going to really go for a ride. Are you ready? Okay, talk, talk amongst yourself. You're going to go for a ride in the peacock. You're going for a ride in the peacock to the table. Whee! Here we go. Are you having fun? Oh, we gotta go down steps. 
We see that peacock's good. It's giving you a good ride. It's giving you a good ride in the basket. Okay. Wasn't that fun? Okay, now I'm gonna put you in a tripod. Okay. Look at look at all my ribbons there. Oh, oh get you in there to the tripod. Okay. Oh, let's turn you around so you don't get blinded. There we go. Hopefully. And I'm going to plug you back in. This is what I do all day long. I talk to my phone. I, I talk to things that aren't here. Okay. All right, now I have things precariously in here. I probably should put these on the floor. So let's let's have a chat while we, uh, what is the rack thing? I don't know, my, my best friend, Cindy, she was cleaning out her, class, her craft area in her house and um, she asked me if I wanted it and I said, yes, I do. You, you could have a scratch and dent. I, you know what? I have thought about that. I really have. Because I, it, people, I have been made fun of in the reselling community for buying things that are broken. But my goodness, how, if you saw, I, actually this, oh, thank you, my, my little bird of vintage for the super chat. Wait, what does it say? My Two little bird vintage. My camera's far away. It's hard for me to see. Yes, refresh. Refresh before it begins. This was given to me by Tammy Christofferson, but it was an Aunt Marilyn thing. Aunt Marilyn and I were soul sisters because she saw the beauty in things that were a little... That, that had some, some problems. Okay, it's going to be easier for me to have the sale once we get started if I have everything out of this basket. So that's why I'm taking the time to do it now. So yes, let's go ahead and let's make sure that we're in live chat and not top chat. And let's make sure that you've sent me your information. Let me get everything on this card first. Drifter Junker Vintage Hunter at gmail.com. And what else do we need? What are we forgetting? Make it and bake it. I got to get this price tag off of here. Are you guys having a lovely Monday? That little beehive thing that needs to be washed as well. All right, lobsters. You go here with your little friends. What did Leanne say? What did you say, Leanne? I missed it. I was bent over digging in my box. Oh, yeah. While you're there, you do, a, do a thumbs up. Do a thumbs up. Gosh, I wish I could remember what the name of this picture was, but I don't. You, oh, Tiger, you overslept and you were late feeding the kitties. Oh, they were both gone. What do you mean? Did somebody take them? Hey, babies, I got all these babies in here. What do you mean they were gone, Tiger? They, did, they, did they run off? All right, I have to get situated. I'm weird. Everything has to be a certain, has to be a certain way. I'm not used to the phone this being this far away from me either. So, are we ready? Sugar Bridges! Hello, Sugar Bridges! Everybody say hi to Sugar Bridges. Oh, you know what? 
on Wednesday sale, I'm giving away a black light keychain. I'm going to start doing those every week. Hey, sugar britches. Okay. I found this. But we're not going to do that. In my brain, I want to do that. I want to use that bell to make that sound. But we won't because I will have some people that won't appreciate that. I just got my paper all wet. Okay. I do have a peacock. But he's got issues. But he's beautiful. Or she's beautiful. All right. Let us begin. What shall we do first? How about we start with Missy Mouse? This is Missy Mouse. Hello, I'm Missy Mouse. And you know why I know that? Because it says on her little mushroom. She's Missy Mouse. She's a Nesco. There's her little sticker. And I'm going to start her at $5. We're starting $5 for the Inesco Missy Mouse. Look at her. She is covering her bits with a leaf. She's naked. Naked, naked, naked Missy Mouse. She's being naughty. She's covering up her bits. She is what I think is a toothpick holder. Oh, I saw it, Ellie. I thanked them, but thank you. She is Nakey. She's a Nakey girl. She's Inesco E-1163. This, Sugar Bridges, this is a sale that we just went over to my shelves and we just picked things and then we're going to sell them now. We're selling them right now. We're just selling them right now. All right, I see Straighten Your Eye Vintage Co. at 15. So we are not doing a just in case. So we're, when I start counting down, if you want whatever I'm showing, put in your bid. Because once we get to bid in, then it's over. We're not doing it just in case. All right. So Chantal F. is at $16. I'll show all the way around. It has like a little bit of green and yellow. And she's in excellent condition. She doesn't have any flaws. She's a little saucy, naked mouse. Okay. Straighten your eye, Vintage Co's at 18. I'm going to start counting down, so right now is the time to get your bids in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Bid end. Bid end. And Michelle will let me know. Missy Mouse. I think she sold for eighteen to straighten your eye vintage co. Straighten eye vintage co. Oh, that's a lot to write down. All right, so Chantel, you were right at you were after the bid end. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do Make It and Bake It. This is from, oh, I thought it had a date on it. It has, this is what my favorite part of it. It has the original uh, Hills department store. Do y'all remember Hills? Do you remember Hills? I loved Hills. So this is a stained glass sun catcher. Make It and Bake It, and it is of a parrot. It's never been opened Oh, you're writing it down, Michelle? Okay. Well, thank you, Michelle. All right. Well, that's cool with me. Uh, probably from the 70s or from the 80s, but it has the instructions on the back so you know what to set your oven for. Um, but it does have the, they kind of slid down, but it has green, blue, red, purple, and orange, and it has a sun catcher. So it is complete, never been opened. I'm starting this at, also starting it at $5.00. This one is the Parrot. Um, another fine sun catcher product by Quinn Crafts from Hingham, Massachusetts. Window designs, holiday designs, shade pulls, and pennants. Make it you make your own stained glass design with make it and bake it plastic coating crystals of the little parrot. 
I loved doing these as a child. And you would make them and like give them to your grandma and grandpa for gifts. Especially if you had a grandma and grandpa that liked parrots. But these are all the designs that were on the back. Ooh, they were, I wish I had the turtle. I'm trying, I think I had the Santa Claus. I had made the Santa Claus one. Ooh, there's a poodle. Ooh, there's a witch. I want the witch one. Too bad you're not a witch, but you're not. You're a parrot. All right, I'm going to start counting down. I don't even know where we're at, but 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Look at that font. That is 1980s. Bid in. It might have sold for $5, which is absolutely fine. No? Linda Ronning got it for $7, I think. Oh. Linda Ronning got it. Yes, the start bid was $5. Okay. Now let's do, let's do booby chicken. Someone said 20 there was a 20. Wait a minute. Oh, Punk Funk Junk Barbie. Punk Funk Junk Barbie got it at $20. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Linda. I didn't see it. Punk Funk. I think that you, you're the one that picked it. Good job, Barbie girl. Barbie girl got it. All right, let's move on to booby chicken. Hello, I'm just going to market with my purse. She does have damage here. She's been glued on the bottom. You can see a little hole there, which, I mean, you could put a fake plant in her. Do I have a helper? Oh, I do. Look at that. Oh, look at that. So she is, I call her, she's proud of her breasts. She is proud of her breasts. Shouldn't we all be? All right, so there she is. She does have a little repair in her hat, too. She's got a pink button. I'm going to start her at... She's got britches on, too. I'm going to start her at uh, $8 for booby chicken. $8 for booby chicken, girl. She's got that repair on the bottom. She is a Mae West chicken. Uh, hey there, honey. I want you to come and see me sometime. When I'm bad, wait, when I'm good, I'm, how does she say? When I'm good, I'm bad. When, when I'm bad, I'm better. Didn't she say something like that? I loved Mae West. Did you know that Dearly Departed in Hollywood, their museum is closed down, but they had her fake teeth on display? When I'm, hello there, baby. And she made a movie didn't Mae West make a movie like when she was in her 80s and it was like a very saucy, sexy movie? I think. All right. I think I'm seeing punk, punk. I'm seeing Barbie Girl at 28. But again, she does have a repair on the bottom. What is the rooster? Uh, Foghorn Leghorn? Are you his wife? I, look, she's like got some low riding pants on too. Look at that. She got some uh, low-waisted jeans on. Okay, let's do. Let's start, start counting down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid end. I heard that, that Mae West was a brilliant, had a brilliant mind. I didn't realize that she was a part of Mensa, but I heard that she was just remarkably intelligent. Like she played this, you know, kind of character. Same with Jane Seymour, not Jane Seymour, um, Jane Mansfield. She was brilliant too. Okay, I see bid end, and I think I see Uno or L. Unico, uno. 
L Unico Uno. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I see you for 32. <laughs> you have a tattoo of Tweety Bird? Oh my gosh. When I'm bad, I'm bad. But when I'm good, I'm better. Or whatever. Maybe it was the opposite way. She was a character. All right, let's do the babies. A whole box full of babies. Now, you will get, there are, you're going to get this whole box. And I'm going to start these at $10 for all of them. For all of them. And they're naked. But that's the way that we like them. They're naked, frozen Charlottes. They're gold here. They are all marked Japan. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven golden hair ones. And then you get one. These are silver. Two. Uh, three. Four. So you get seven golden hair ones and four. What is that? Twelve, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. 11, math, I, I'd use my fingers. You get 11 frozen Charlotte babies. They are all marked Japan. You get four silver haired girls and seven gold painted hair girls. Oh my gosh, so there's the sirens. Yes, uh, yes, Michelle is doing, she's my bid in. Look at how surprised she is too. Where are you at camera? My, oh, cover up my face. Oh, my. Cover up my face. There we go. Oh, my. She's covering up her boobies. When I'm good, I'm very, very good. When I'm bad, I'm better. Something, okay. Thank you, Susical. All right, I see Joanne at 40. For all 11 frozen Charlottes, you can have a rave. You can have a rave. Oh, they're all covering their boobies. But they, they're not covering their their bottoms. They are all marked in Japan there on the bottom. I'm going to start counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. They are bisque. But they're babies. I did keep one of each, but you know what I like to do is I have like little, those little miniature coffee mugs. And I'll put several, or a little miniature pitcher, like a glass pitcher. And I put a lot of them. I'll just have a whole stack of them in there. All right. I'm thinking if I saw correctly, precious, no. Rebecca Lance got them at 43. I think um, Rebecca Lance at 43. Yeah, I think that um, Joanne Precious Lavender was right after the bid in. Okay. Lisa Holbrook, refresh. Okay, let's do lobsters. Made in Germany lobsters. They are corked. They are marked Germany. They're orange. Um, we are going to start these at eight dollars. They have little eyeballs up here on the sides of their faces. They're so bizarre. Lo German lobster salt and pepper shakers. They're making a bridge. You can go under the bridge. Do London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Okay, we're starting this at $8 for the Made in Germany Rock Lobster. 
I cannot say lobster any other way than like I'm from Boston. I've never been to Boston, nor will I ever eat lobster because I don't like seafood. We've already had that discussion. All right. These are, st we're starting this at $8. German lobster is expensive. It is. I don't know if I see any interest in these. I'm going to count down. If somebody's interested in, you can put your bid in. 10 and we're starting them at $8. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. And if nobody wanted you, you will go to the side. I'm in a singing mood today, by the way. Bid end. They didn't sell, I do not believe. I don't think. All right, next we are going to do the honey pot. Now I will tell you that this needs cleaned off and I will, I will clean this off. It is, I don't know who made it. I, I'm thinking it was made in Japan though, but it is a little bumblebee creamer. It does not have the lid. I'm sure it had an adorable little lid. I'm sure that it did. But it, it no longer does. But there are no chips and cracks. But it's just a little dirty. And I will clean it off. The handle does have lots of beautiful crazing on it. I'm going to start this at $12. $12 for the yellow beehive creamer. It is a very soft yellow. It's kind of picking up yellow there. You are a beehive. I don't have any particular song. I'll just... You are a beehive. And you have bees on it, on you. You hold our cream. It drives my husband nuts. I do this to him all the time. He's like, will you stop singing, please? You're not even making any sense. You know what? I'm wondering if someone kept a candle in this because I'm peeling off some wax. I bet someone stuck a, like a taper candle in that. Because there's wax around it. I will clean it off. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me have B. Those guys are great. All right, we're, we've we got to move on. Okay, so I'm going to start counting down. I don't even know where we're at, but we're going to start counting down for the beehive creamer. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one bid end. Right now, Nancy is at twelve dollars. Might be Nancy, unless somebody else popped in there at the end. Bid end, Nancy. You got it. I was like, airplane. Yeah, an air plant would be cute in here. You know what? Well, look. Why did I do that? Now that that just that just makes it all better. Your little air plant holder with your bumblebees. Eh, you snooze, you lose, Misty. That's what happens. Okay, we're going to do the peacock. Peacock! Now, if you weren't over at the shelves when we were, when we picked this, I rescued this. I, it was, the, the whole head was broken off. So it has a repair right there. You can see you can see how much was missing on the inside. Basically, all of this was broken off, and I glued it back on, and I set it with um, baking soda, which is a good thing to do when you're using um, glue. It helps just kind of cement it in a little bit. There is a chip right here that is missing that I could not find in the box that I found this in, but you can't really tell from the front. But it's still you can still put a plant in it. There's nothing wrong with the bottom of it at all. I'm going to start this at $14. We're starting the beautiful peacock planter at $14. $14. Yeah, I, I just couldn't, I, could, I, I can't resist these things sometimes. And I have never seen this one before. Oh, great bid, Catherine. Yeah, this is just, 
she's just majestic. She's purple and she's pink and she's got this aqua. And honestly, you can't really tell. It has that piece that's missing. That was probably another part of the feather here, but you can't really tell from the display point ability of it. But, you know what? Did I not turn my sound off? I didn't. We turned the sound off. You guys went for a little bumpy ride, but all right, I see Catherine Young at 30. I'm going to start counting down. She, Catherine's bidding like she means it. I like that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Betty Ann's at 35. Uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Yeah, she is probably a he, but... It doesn't matter to me. He, she, they, they are beautiful. Bid end. All right. Catherine Young got this majestic creature for $37. Congratulations, Catherine. I will pack her well. Make sure that she gets there safe and sound. Okay. Elephants. We have three of them. These are the Homeco elephants. They're adorable. I like Homeco figurines. I love the expressions that they have in their faces. But we have this guy and this guy laying on his side. This one's my favorite one. This guy just with his little feet up in the air. Looking like little hands. All right, so you will get all three of these. I'm going to start these at $12 for the set of three. They are made by Homeco. Hi, Poteet. Bye. Bye, Christine. Or Christy. I always do that to you. I always say put an N in your name. You don't have an N in your name. Hey, LaDonna. Wow. Awesome. All right. We're starting these little uh, Homeco elephant. You know what? Let's start them at, I don't know if I have, let's start them at 10. We're going to start these at 10. Oh, 12. Okay. We'll, we're at 12. 12 dollars for the set of three home co elephants. They all have their trunks up. I love all their little rolls of fat. I can relate. All right, Cranky Lady is at 17. I love their little tails. I love the sculpt on these home co figurines. I really do. Tammy is at 20. I'm going to start counting down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I see Tammy right now is at 25 for the elephants. It's an elephant party. It's an elephant party. That kind of reminds me of the Wiggle song. All right, Tammy Heiler, you got it. Do you remember Dorothy from the Wiggles? When the Wiggles first came out, back in like 1999, maybe? Dorothy's Dance Party. Oh, we love the Wiggles in our house. I know Michelle, probably her kids listen to the Wiggles too, I'm sure. She outbid herself at 20. All right, let's see. I want to make sure. Okay, Tammy, you are at 20. You are at $20. I think she was thinking of a just in case, but we're not doing just in case. We don't do that on Wednesdays. But Tammy, you got it for $20. Oh, I know my kids were obsessed with the Wiggles too. So Michelle, make sure that she got, she got it for $20, not $25. All right, next we're going to do the Amish cat dog. I don't know why. I don't, it just, doesn't it look like it has the an, a Amish beard? But this is made in Japan. It is a bank. Does not have the stopper. It is marked Japan there on the back. We're going to start him at $8. He does have the cute little rabbit fur head. And actually, it's not rabbit fur. It's just synthetic fur. And if you tug on it too much, 
it's going to fall off a little bit. So, but it is still there. A lot of times it's not. But it is a cat, mouse, bunny, Amish dog figure with fur. We don't know. And he's wearing a scarf. So it's cold. He lives in a cold climate. He lives in a cold climate. It does kind of look like a mouse, but it also looks like a fox. It also looks like a cat. It also looks, could be some sort of a dog. We don't know. But he has an Amish beard or just a really fat neck. I don't, I don't understand. What's written on his butt? Japan. Japan. I think at one time he had a, either, he probably had felt. That was probably what his stopper was, was felt. And uh, they got the money out. Oh, a squirrel? Possibly, because this is his tail. So it wouldn't be a mouse, because a mouse doesn't have a furry tail. I don't know. Let's start counting. A hamster. <gasps> but a hamster doesn't have a long tail. Either. No, a hamster does have a, no. A gerbil has a long tail. Not a hamster. We don't know. He's a mystery animal. It's Japan. It's a Japan interpretation of some cre creature. But he's proud of his scarf. All right, 10. I don't know where we're at, but 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, bid end. It is a tanuki. What is that? A Japanese deity? Really? Well, I like that because he's just anthropomorphic and fun. And I'm all about that. I don't have to look that up. All right, where were we at? Um, I think we were at 16. I will look it up on Google. I am the Japanese. Wow. Huh. That's cool. You're a cool deity. We learn something new every day. I think $16 is what this went for, Michelle. They sometimes have enormous uh, nuts. Wow. I have to be careful what I Google, won't I? We don't want to Google. Got to be careful what we Google sometimes. Okay, thank you. All right, next we're going to do the Better Homes and Gardens garden book now if you do not i mean if you wanted to use this for a junk journal i let i leave that up to you this is from the the last copyright is 1954. i'm going to start this at 14 dollars. on the inside there is some ephemera in here this is a newspaper ad from what year well shoot but you can have loads of fun at Jubilee USA. Saturdays on ABC TV. Loads of fun with them. I wish I knew what year this was from. but And then it has all of the inserts. I'm, I'm not even showing this to you. But Stewart Electric Company. This is dated 1964. They bought a refrigerator air conditioner. No. They bought an air conditioner and all of the components for $437, which seems like a lot of money back then. But it has all of the pages. That's the newspaper clipping. Um, shade, vines, and I, there is some extra little bits of ephemera in here that were tucked in here. The Upper Room from Nashville, Tennessee. Do it yourself, African Violet Kit. Get more from existing trees. Oh, bugs. House plants. The graphics in here are really nice. And probably this will probably gives you a lot of good tips, you know, for today. Yeah, let me see. There's more little clippings in here. 
So if the hardback Better Homes and Gardens, honestly, this makes a great display too. Or if you're a junk journaler, I know that these um, these binder books are really good for that. It's an excellent condition. Okay, Cranky Lady is at 30. Hi, Sarah Lee. I'm going to start counting down. 10, 9, 8. Bye, Auntie Harry. 6, oh, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. I see Marty at 32. I was going to say, good day, Auntie Harry, but that's not what you say when you're going to bed. Good night. Is that what you say? All right. Cranky Lady Vintage at 33. Sarah Lee, this is uh, something new that I'm doing. I'm trying this out. Instead of, I always go live Mondays at 11, but I need to get rid of some of this stuff. So I'm having, I'm, I, you're going to shop my shelves. We went over there and we chose 15 things and now we're selling them. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't, I can't, I'm not refreshing. So I will let you refresh. Even cranky lady saying that it's Lori. All right, Lori Potter, you got it. You got it, girl. Thank you, cranky lady for being so fair and you know that doesn't always happen so we had jeffrey had a sale last friday that this past friday that people were they're losing their minds okay next we're going to do this thermos this is a tall thermos where's my measure it's over 12 inches tall i would say that it is probably maybe 13 and a half inches tall but it is like a maroon color and it's got pink and pink and maroon. It is a thermos brand thermos. It is missing the, it had a handle. That's what these little not nubbies, the little nubbins were for, like a carrying handle. So I'm going to start this at $12 for the tall. This is really nice because it's a really tall one. So if you have a display of thermoses, then um, it's, it's just, it, it's tall, so it can kind of flank out your collection. But we're starting this at, what did I say? Oh, thank you, straighten your eye. Thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Suzical is at 17. Nice biggin. This, I'm selling all of my thermoses. These all came from my 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 home. I just, I've, I've got to thin some stuff out. So I will be, I'm, in fact, I'm thinking about having a sale one evening on Instagram from my house. Just pulling things off of my shelf because my husband will not allow us to do any renovations until I clear some room. And I got, I mean, I got a lot of stuff. All right, I see you. Angie is out. Suzical is at 20. We're going to start counting down. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid end. Bid end. Bid end. Bid end. Yes, van vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, we bid in. Thank you, Michelle. We got the, the poop holes done. But so we're just trying to, I'm trying to save some more um, for the kitchen remodel. I think we had Susical at 20. Okay, next let's do the owls. These are awesome. These are Ukago, I think. No, it's UCGC. Which it's it's an it's a branch of Otagiri, Unite I don't know, but it's this is what it is. I can't think today. It's made in Korea. Boop. And it's the mama out and her babies. We're gonna start her at six dollars. She's bisque. 
She's cute. I don't know what kind of owl that is. There's different breeds of owls, I know, but they're all sitting on their little branch. And they're just, it's a, just a mama and her babies. I guess it could be a daddy. Hi, Randy girl. Could be a daddy and his babies. You know, could be. Daddy birds do tend to stick around. I'm sure owls are no different. All right, Kathy is at 16. They're sitting on their little branch. Cute little babies. All right, Kathy's at 16. I'm going to start counting down. 10. Angela's, oh, Kathy's at 20. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. One, bid end. Bid end. I'm thinking that Kathy Scaletta is got it at 20. No, no. I will, I'm not going to say it because I messed up. So, Michelle, I see Carrie. I don't know if she popped in after the bid end. I'm not going to say but I see Carrie, K-C-A-T-X, at 21. She might have sniped it. But every time I say it out loud, I end up saying it wrong. Yep, Carrie. Sniper. Oh, it's a barn owl. How cute. Oh! Okay, that's so sweet. Did you see that, Michelle? Carrie wants me to bill her and send it to Angela. That was sweet. Very, very sweet. I will be happy to. Happy, happy, happy. Which reminds me, remember Ren and Stimpy? Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Okay. That just popped into my brain. I know that you all remember. Well, most of you, if you're my age, you remember Ren and Stimpy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Randy, you came in just in time because look what I'm getting ready to sell. Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. It's a deer. And it's shakers. <laughs> I remember. Now we're going to be singing that. You know what? That isn't a bad song to sing, though, in your in your mind. You know? That isn't a bad song to sing. That it, It's a good reminder. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Joy, joy, joy. All right. So these, these are marked salt and pepper. Well, they're marked S and P. And then you put your napkins in there. And it's got the little deer right there. So I'm going to start this at $16. It's made out of wood. Made out of wood. Kind of looks like Bambi. But it's not. It's not marked. Oh, you know what? It is marked. M.H. Fishman Company, it was originally 79 cents. What rolls downstairs alone or in pairs? An egg roll? Shoes? Susical will get that. Susical's good at trivia. I, don't, I am horrible at trivia. I'm horrible at it. Like, I cannot do Wheel of Fortune. I I just can't see. It's like you can't see the forest through the trees. Like, I can't see. They've got all these, and I should know what these words are, but I don't. And then, once they, they give the little, like, phrase or whatever, and it's like, it doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. But I, I, and I love Jeopardy. Jeopardy is one of my favorite shows. I suck at it. But I shot my answer out as proud as can be. And I'm always wrong most of the time. But I still shout it out. It's a log. Linda got it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to count down. 10. Kimberly's at 30. Thank you, Zuzical. 10. 9. 8. Seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one, bid end. Ooh, Lori Wortley's at 32. <gasps> oh, I didn't break them. They're plastic. But I kind of scared myself there for a minute. Bid in, the snipers returned. Lori Wortley. Got it. <laughs> you were born in 1980, Ren, simply were my life. I was born in 1975. So we're close in age there. All right, we've got two more things and then one thing that didn't sell, and we'll show that at the end. But we're going to do this. And my gosh, I can't think of the name. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. That's so sweet. Did you see? You all, you all are just being precious. You're being precious, precious lavender buttons today. That's so sweet. All right, Michelle. So Lori Wortley wants me out to send the deers. She said she'd always be the salt to her pepper. <laughs> That's funny. Now, Laura Wortley, tell me what who makes this. So I my brain. It's not Frank Oma. It's not Frank Oma. Golly, I knew it. I researched this and then went out of my brain. But this is bulbous. It very it very much is feels it's not McCoy either. It's not Hull. It isn't McCoy. You can smack it though. You can smack it. It's like a brush McCoy feel to it. It does have the cork. Oh, yeah. Well, you could put, you could put kettlebell or kettlebell. You could put beer in it. You could, you could be in a jug band and have a colorful. I don't know. It doesn't smell like anything. And. It is glazed on the inside. So you could. You could. All right. I kind of want to burly. That doesn't sound familiar to me, but it could be. No, no, there is no mark. The only mark that is on it is the mark that Goodwill wrote on it with in Sharpie. Yeah, I found this at Goodwill. Um, oh yeah, I have one more. I have Salty and Peppy over here too. Yeah, spank it. <laughs> I'm a pass. <laughs> All right, I can't, now that I've smacked it a few times, I, I kind of, no, I still have it. I still have this, this set. I, we sold the deer one. I still have the wood and salt, salt and Peppy and baby set. All right, I am going to start this at, oh, I'm going to start this at $20. It still has the cork. It's a beautiful celadon green color. It is a, a, a round tilted jug. All right, I see you, Stacey, at 25. Smack it. Whack it. You could though use it as a um, a kettleball, and you could you could put your beer in it. You're like, Ooh. you know. I do. You yeah, I do. I've got. This is next. Salty Peppy and their baby. All right, I see thirty dollars for. Oh gosh, wish on bish. Did I say that? Elaine Lenny is at 40. Put your beer in here. You can put your Mountain Dew in here. And now I would think it's, I would think this is probably a water jug. But oh yay! I'm so clappy. I'm so I'm so clappy. I'm so clappy, Anita. But if you fill this up, it's gonna be heavy. This is not, this is a crockery piece. So it's going to have a little bit of weight of heft to it, especially after you fill it up with some liquid. 
There's the bottom of it. Goodwill. Bad will. But it's in excellent condition. There's no flaws on it anywhere. This was actually in Goodwill, and they were just bringing it on the. They were bringing it out on the cart, and I just said, "I will take that, please." And I did. It's been sitting on my shelf for a while because honestly, I thought I was going to put it on eBay. All right, I know I can't help it, Kelly. Is it a K Mark water jug? I don't know. I don't know. Wish on Bish is at. Uh, pretty sure it's K K Mark. Just looked it. Okay. That's why I wish. No, it's not Roseville. I know it's not Roseville. I know it's not McCoy. I know it's not Hall. And I know it's not Roseville. I did. Look, I did find it. I found it. But it's it's left me. And things need to have names on them. They need to have makers marks on them for me to remember. It's a K Mark. Or K mark, however you want to say it. I say I say K mark, and that always reminds me of K marked. So we like to call it a booby, a booby jug, booby jug. All right, seventy dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and start counting down. Ten, nine, eight. I'm gonna spank it every time. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I don't want to smack with that hand. With that hand. Bit end. Yeah, it is a very, it does look like it. I'm, I wish I had two of them. That'd be a good thumbnail, wouldn't it? <laughs> Michelle loves it when I do that. Bit end. Bid and it is most definitely a Kmart. I have sold a Kmart, 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 Kmart cat for a lot of money. All right, wish on bish. You got it for eighty dollars. I will wrap it very carefully and well. It is a beautiful color. It's a beautiful piece. Surprisingly, found at Goodwill. Do you all remember? The days that you could regularly find good things like that at Goodwill. Them days are gone. All right. The last thing I have, and I will show the, the lobsters that didn't sell. This came off of, out of my own collection. It is the Jap, they're made in Japan. I'll make sure that they're in there, right? They're sitting on a little couch with a big face there on, on the back. So I'm going to I'm going to take these off so you can see the graphic on the little on the little couch. You can hang it on your wall. It has two nail holes or you can set it down um you know, it sits flat so you can set it down. I actually had it um because I have 8,000 of these. I I I had it sitting in my display on my um I have a little red Costco cart. Um and I had an air plant in here. So you can put a little little air plant in there and display it. So um, I am, oh wait. Oh, okay. Stacy was after the bid end. Okay. I'm going to start this at $18. The paint on it is extremely good other than Mama has a, has a little bit of wear on her head. But look at the paint on her face. And now I, the reason why I like these so much too is because they're very different different painted differently than a lot of the other ones that you see and i like these all of them in general because they are all hand painted so when you find these all of their paint jobs are different side eye going on right there and the little baby but salty peppy and baby they all sit on their couch you can hang it it's just a different it's a different piece to, if you like these like I do, it's just a different piece. And I I am going to start thinning out my Salty and Peppy collection because I, I, I have so many. I have so many. All right. And I, I can't, I can't not buy these. When I, when I go and I see just a single one, 
somewhere. I still I still buy it because I, I can't not buy. I can't just leave it there. All right, so let's start counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I see CCC. Ha! Huh, I see CCC at 34. Oh, oh, okay. I will, I will let you refresh, Michelle, because I see some different numbers and I want to make sure that I'm not, you know, making a mistake again and calling out the wrong one because I hate it when I do that. I always feel so bad because you, you say someone's name and they're like, oh, I won. You're like, no, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. And next, we will sell the lobsters. They're from, they're German. Uh, okay, Jan Shade at $39. Thank you. Guten Tag. Uh, what else do I know? In Tiger, help me out. It's uh, Guten Tag, which is, I think, good morning. Or how are you? I think it's an Esme. I don't know. They're German. Eins Fi. Eins Fi. German lobsters. V Gates. Escape mir gut. That's about all I know. I took German. Took semester. The whole semester of German. That's all I got. Guten Tag is good day. Escape mir gut. Guten Morgen. There's Tiger. <laughs> There he is. Tiger, we could have a whole conversation. We could have a puppet show with the lobsters. They are from Germany. They're both marked and they both have their stoppers. Um, so, and they're ceramic. We're gonna start these at, I, I will start them at $6. I've never seen these. We could have a puppet show. Tab. V Gates. Escape me a goot. Did that make any sense, Tiger? Could I go to Germany now and speak the language? Oh, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Lynn's at 10. Oh, golly. Tiger. I, I will not be able to pronounce that the way that you said it. Say a goot. What did you say? Yes, Jane. Yeah, Jane, I have your information. <laughs> Stoppers. Tiger said, Jawal, Hummer, Slot. Tiger, are you, Tiger, for all I know, Tiger's having me say naughty words in German. And I'm just sitting here just saying them around. And I'll have some German viewers that are like, can you believe she said that? Live? I can't believe she said that. <laughs> All right. So, where were we at? Let's start counting them down. 10, 9, Rock Lobster, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. If you were having a lobster boil, don't they, isn't that what they do with lobsters? A lobster boil. You could set these out and be like, she's so, look at her over there. She's a great hostess. She's got lobster salt and pepper shakers for this lobster boil. Can you believe that? Oh, you're giving me ideas now. I don't know. I saw a number come. I don't know if it came after the bid end or not. So I'm going to wait to see what the refresh says. These actually feel really good to hold in your hand, too. But that's all 15 items. Hi, New England Thrifter. Hi, the little blue fly. Yay. Welcome. I think Lynn maybe got them for, well. Oh. 
I know Lynn for ten dollars. Great. I know what is there's a the Volkswagen. What was their little thing? Can't think of it now. Mmm. Crayfish. Yeah. Well, we are, that's it. We sold all 15 things. So let me know. Did you like this? Do we, do we need to do this every Monday? I think I would like to do this every Monday. Um, and again, if you bought something from me and just know that I will, won't be sending Farfanugan. That's it, Jose. Farfanugan. Um, I won't be sending invoices out until actually, you know what? This is a good point. I'm not doing invoices until Friday. So if you want me to send it out before Friday, let me know. Because I am going shopping on Thursday. I have done made an appointment with my bestie. We have not gone shopping since before. You know what started. And we are driving and we are doing a shopping day. And I will film it. But um, just know if you want me, if you want me to, I do have your, okay, great. If you, if you want me to ship them sooner than Friday, just send me an email and let me know. Um, if, if, if not, then I will be sent then I'll be working Friday and Saturday. Well, I'll be working on Friday to get invoices out. I will get them all done on Friday. I'm just swapping my sh shopping shipping days because normally I, I, um, I ship on Thursdays. Um, and also, tomorrow is the three-way, the threes company sale. Well, I will be selling all the items that are behind me here. And Wednesday, I will be having a combo sale with um, Marcy, the Vintage Bulldog. Every other Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a joint sale with somebody else just because they're fun. And it does help give me a little bit of a break. Although now that I'm doing these, it's going to end up being about the same. That's okay because I need to get, I need to have some sales. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I've, I've, I'm going to be putting content on TikTok that I'm not going to be necessarily putting here on YouTube or on Instagram. So follow me on TikTok. But if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you do because I am going to start having little pop-up sales like book sales and ephemera sales and linen sales because I have a lot of that that I need to thin out. Um... And I'm working on having a pop-up. I will be having a pop-up. I am working on getting things set up. So that will happen sooner rather than later. Um, I'm saying probably the 1st of September. So I'm looking forward to that. But thank you guys so much. Make sure that you send me your information. Thank you, Michelle. I'm sending you that Elefante for free. For taking the time out because I know that you're really, really busy writing all this stuff down for me. So thank you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow.